Beautiful, isn't it? A crop like this is a wonderful sight to see. We're deep in the heart of the rainy season and it's time for field crops. Field crops like cereals and our main cereal that we grow and eat here in South Central Africa is maize. Some people call it corn or whatever. Look at it. It just looks amazing. You've got your healthy cobs, you've got tassels, you've got healthy stalks, green color, and a lot of vigor. But to get a crop like this isn't easy, and there's a lot of steps that we have to take, one, two, three, to get it to this stage. I'm going to take you to the beginning part, the establishment of a maize crop, and we look at how we um, prepare the land, we look at how we actually plow it, we look at how we actually bring a planter and we're very excited because for the first time we actually planted a crop of maize uh, here at Mondo Farms with a planter. And then we take you up to the stage where we fertilize the basal fertilizer and then we get to the stage of germination. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Mondo Farms channel. My name is Chisha Folletia and I'm so pleased to have you back with us again here. On this channel where we talk about all the things that we do at our farms on the outskirts of Chongwe. Hey, here's the thing. I'm not at Winterthorn. I'm at another farm. We started a second farm during this rainy season and it's one of the reasons why I just haven't been able to get to shooting, editing and presenting the videos in the normal pace that I, that I normally do. This place is called Kimberley. And before I talk about what we're doing here, let me wish everybody out there a very happy 2023. Happy New Year means new hat. And this was a wonderful Christmas present that I got from my wife and children. Very practical and very, very, very much appreciated. So as I mentioned, this farm is called Kimberley. It's not Winterthorn, it's on the other side of Chongwe. It's a property that the farm family has had um, for a couple of years, and we had a different project that we had in mind for here, and that has been overtaken by events. So we decided, let's start farming here, and we've got a larger plan in the grand scheme of things uh, that you should be finding out about over the months and years to come. Here at Kimberley, we are going to start, we have started, should I say, planting maize uh, this rainy season. And when you plant maize as a crop, you have to start with the ground prep. So that started quite a little while ago. How is the next
So this farm um, had been farmed previously by the previous owners, mostly maize and stuff, but a lot of the fields weren't aligned properly and they weren't flattened and there were some anthills in them. So as you know on Mundo Farms, we like ourselves a bit of machinery, a TLB here, and we brought in our TLBs at the beginning of December. Uh, so the works have started here at uh, Kimberley and uh, the TOBs are started by breaking uh, these antlers here at uh, Chumamwe. Then uh, uh, leaving this Musangi tree here, the Musangi tree, the letter of Musangi tree. The effects of the nitrogen having weeds around the tea is different from there. And um, the more the, the tree extends its roots. So I'm at in Axon. Kuno Kuria video. Imoku, then quite to a sharper, then Imofu Tuko. I again I had it so. Then I have it. Yadi so. Finias come back on a year in my dears and uncle and farm money. Come up, eh? Mapping out the blocks here at uh, Kimberley on Chimwemwe and making decisions in terms of how the blocks will go in terms of. Horizontal, perpendicular, vertical, there. So many moving parts to this equation. Yeah. Loving it, loving it. This place I'm going down there. So here where the TOPs are in my car will be the Chimome blocks that come this way. One there and one there. Then we stop again because of the spring that's coming down here. Then we have more blocks that go that way. Running, let's say, east west. Yeah, goes to north south. Finally, got it east west north south. Use the compass, son. Use the compass. You know, this road is movable. This road is movable. Yeah, movable meaning it can go. This is the boundary. No, the beacons are the boundaries. Although when you look at it, that looks like a five, huh? So it's basically we shouldn't move it. Yeah, let's leave it. Then we'll build our windbreakers here. To a chamber is issuing the issue of drainage here is so crucial. And we're saying here drainage, one day we could try it. So that either send a mesh, we need send a mesh as no. And then if we're not to quite change, they still move. It's just cool, it's not that. I can't believe Panga Jackson. Then in that, na kaka no na kaka dia pa. Ya kaka dia pa kare kare sta bound na ngan dak. Drainage issue ngat dia ko pangano ko. Issue ng sini won. Issue ng kat won. Ko kasa pa dia ka. Drainage issue ngat kaka pangano na. Onya onya kaka dia kare pa. 
de que esto sea en el situado en la estrella de un variachi en el espíritu de la estrella de la estrella de la The fence is moving. Huh? So once the land prep was ready, we then moved over into the field prep. Yes, there's a difference. Land prep would involve, as you know, um, shaping the fields, flattening anthills, removing tree stumps, and the other things that are going to get in the way of the tractors and the other machinery that we're bringing in later. Field prep involves actually getting the land, the fields that you've now set out, up ready for actual planting. So you bring in a tractor, but hey, wait, before you bring in a tractor, you've got to go and make sure that there aren't too many rocks and stuff in there because rocks and stones, which you get in fields because of rains and water, surface water flows, they can really cause havoc to, to uh, your, your, your heavy machinery and make planting and stuff almost impossible to do. So that was the next step that we did. We sent in our teams into the fields to literally go in with wheelbarrows manually and pick up all the stones that they could find. I managed to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Tipula tipula manje palast mind you buana marek. Mamene. Oh. Oh, bro. Uncle, what is that? I'm okay, Mdala. So we team had my guys on my doba What's in the shape, Magasin is a guy is a zabu. So, what's up for me and a Marie? I'm a Marie. I'm a Marie. I'm a Marie. I'm a 
So I've now moved over to another one of the blocks of maize that we have here at Kimberley. This one's called Tawonga, and this is block A. If I'm not mistaken, we do try and do it clockwise. So that's A, and where I was earlier over there would be B. The fields have been plowed and we're ready to plant. We're waiting for a break in the weather. Uh, it's raining a lot around about this time, and we have to, we decided to, to use a planter. Normally on the Mondo Farms channel, you see our guys planting manually. We don't own a tractor, so we always have to hire one. Here in Chongwe, a lot of the tractors that we have come with simple, simple attachments, your disc plows, your harrows, uh, but not the complicated stuff. Complicated stuff like a planter. So we had to locate, find one, agree with the people that, how, that were hiring it out, how much we would pay and how long we would keep it and all of that. And then we had to find a tractor big enough to carry the planter, because it's quite a big planter. So we went back to Kurewa, Kurewa Kukura Kurewa, sorry, my Shona is not that great. And they were able to bring along their massive Ferguson 460 to come and attach the tractor to the planter, which surprisingly is quite an exercise actually, and it's not that fast. And finally, we had the tractor connected to the planter. It was brought over to the farm from wherever it was coming from. Took a while. All this was supposed to start in the morning, but as we've learned in farming in Africa, nothing ever happens on time. And by the middle of the day, we were ready to start planting. So there was quite a lot of planting that was done on the first day at the first field, which we call Chimwemwe. Clue, the fields here at Kimberley all have Tumbuka names. You've got Chatoa, you've got Kondwani, you've got Taonga, and that is because my late mother was Tumbuka. So we decided to give it a family theme and be able to give all the fields here um, to the, the Tumbuka language names. As you know on our farms, 
Field names are very important because they give everybody a frame of reference of what it is they're doing and where they're supposed to be and what you're doing. It's easy enough to say, endani kuja kulast kuja, ija field didi kumbari kwa chija china angu chiri pa japambari pa whatever. And people make mistakes. You find they've plowed the wrong field, they put fertilizer in the wrong place. So we like to have specific names for the places within our farm. And as I said, here we chose the theme of um, Tumbuka names. But at Winterthorn, we have several types of names of the fields. Uh, some of them are named as to where they are. Riverside is by the river. Others are named after American Democratic presidents. You've got your Kennedy, you've got your Franklins, places. Others are named after places in Asia. You've got your Dubai, your Baghdad, your Tokyo. Others are named after places in Europe, like Oxford and Cambridge. Um, it's just how it is. We like to have specific names, as I said. So we've now planted on the first day. Um, and at the end of the day, we were blessed with what everybody wants to happen when they finish planting. It starts to rain. Rain, 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 rain. Beautiful rain. Rain, 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 rain. Beautiful rain. Oh, come, never come. Oh, come to me. Beautiful rain. So, Patashanga can be the Oku, Patajumba, Rodio in the Pa, Numba, Yava Davis. So, in Vola, Kumayamba, Kurok. So we had the planter um, overnight and we were able to continue planting on the second day and everything started out well in the morning. You've seen from the planter here that it does two things. One, it puts the seed in the ground and that's the hoppers down at the bottom. And the other one, it puts fertilizer. So you have to load it with both seed and fertilizer. It's so exciting for me, having started farming back in 2020, accidentally and we've now reached a stage whereby we're doing big time things you know is that me up a more no So on one of the uh, biggest challenges that we're facing uh, uh, planting, using a planter is uh, things like stones in the field. Uh, these guys. So when the planter sets a marker and it's passing through here, it has to pass through in between the stone and uh, the challenges are it will either hit it and uh, cause the hoppers, the fertilizer seed hoppers to fall down because it can't handle uh, the solid rock or ground, it has to be soft. So we had uh, lots of rocks and uh, we've been removing them from the field and shoving them to the sides but they're just too many of them at the moment. And uh, even during uh, tractoring, 
uh, we tried. But uh, those that are just firm in the ground, like these guys here, so we'd have to go round past them so that we finish planting. So the planting continued on the second day and here's one of my favorite shots. This um, was some footage taken with the OM6 gimbal uh, by my son, uh, Francis Xavier. And he was able to keep up with the tractor as it was moving right along here on, uh, on Taonga. Amazing, amazing shot. Thanks, Francis. I'm walking across over to another one of the fields we have here at Kimberley. And this one is called Chimwe Mwe. Chimwe Mwe. A beautiful name, a name of joy. And we hope we get some good joy out of it. It's one of our bigger ones. And uh, it's uh, around about four hectares, I think four hectares plantable here on Chimwe Mwe. So uh, it just goes all the way down there and over there and around the corner. Chimumi is a bit big and it gives us plenty of joy. So this is farming, right? If you've been farming for a little while or if you're planning on farming, one thing you know is that things never go 100% right. We have a planter, a planter that is supposed to deliver the seed into the ground as well as the fertilizer, the basal fertilizer. Then we find out that the type of fertilizer that we got isn't working well with the type of planter that we got. We were getting a kind of a mashy, shonaring, shonaring, ah, we, it just wasn't working well. So we literally had to bring the team back in to broadcast more of the basal fertilizer um, the next day. And that's how it is. That is farming. Nothing's 100%. Ah! So after planting, you want your crop to grow, right? But you don't want it to be competed with by interlopers. In farming, we describe a weed as a plant which is growing in the wrong place. A plant that is competing with the plant that we want to grow for sunlight, for nutrients, for water, and that is harboring pests. So we're modern farmers and we spray um, herbicides. So we have two herbicides that we sprayed um, on our crop um, here at Kimberley, our maize crop. The first one is a non-selective evil um, herbicide, which is quite controversial, but we use it and it's called glyphosate. The second one is acetaclor, and that one is a selective um, herbicide for maize. And as you can see, when you look behind me, there's not a lot of weeds there. It works, Mwebantu. It works. Tiriko, Kimbali, Tispringer, Hepside, Chemical, Weed Oil, Napinako. 
ndiye ma website meti uzinga So we've had challenges again pumping water from uh, the community boho. Uh, so we've resulted in uh, using the engine pump that we carried as backup uh, to pump in water here. So we've put our disc filter and uh, it's pumping. This is uh, the mainstream that's just close to our farm there. So about three months that the pirate way, he man start pushing at the pirate So man's an kalap. So the chief na wuti wandu since must pray onana pa ya pak and have a So to pushing ay, eh, to pushing a man pa vuchi mu mu ti series tingene ko kuri ay ven kondo ay. So my guy is pushing a guys. Eh. So spray with my guys when I'm with a few while I'm a grave. Speaking of protecting our crops, one of the things I haven't spoken about are these sort of um, flaggish type things that you're seeing in the middle of our fields. It's a very traditional method of protecting your crops. And what are we protecting them from? Birds, 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 birds. In our case, we get a lot of birds coming in to eat the seed as it is in the ground before it starts germinating. So they just fly in and they just have a feast. Now, my job as a farmer, spending thousands of kwacha to establish a maize crop like this over all these hectares is not to feed the local wildlife, no. So things like this have been tried and tested. Uh, let me make sure you can see it. This little, um, what we call a scarecrow uh, here. And it's tried and tested and you know what? It actually works. It really works because the bird's eyesight is not that good and they think that there's a person there who's going to come along with a malegeni and uh, sort them out and eat some delicious quail meat, which I've never had in all my farms in all these years. Hmm, 2023, things must be rectified, eh? I'm a carnivore after all, even if they say I can't eat red meat anymore. Yeah, this thing. And within a few days, we get germination and uh, the guys were able to come in here during the regular scouting and see that the germination has actually started. Planted on the 60th of January and now we're starting to notice uh, germination. <laughs> Breaking the ground, the heads are coming out. As you can see here, there. Which is actually a good thing.
so today being the 11th from 6 uh, so we'd say five days after planting if we count the actual day of planting it will be five days but uh, after planting so four days then we have germination start this has been uh, encouraged by having enough moisture uh, in the soils and uh, good sunlight like we have right now which makes a good environment for for the seeds to germinate okay healthy and strong we have another guy here popping out its head yeah so we record this information in our crop diary about the germination and here we sprayed uh, a pre-emergence um, herbicide we mixed acetochloro and uh, uh, glyphosate so we're seeing um, these weeds wilting slowly. I'm heading back to the car now. It's been great for me to be able to share with you here on the Mondo Farms channel how we plant and establish uh, one of our maize crops here at our new farm, uh, which is called Kimberley. Um, excited about this um, thing. Things are going well. We have got the usual um, hiccups in farming that you have, because please understand, I'm sure many of you established farmers know that farming is never easy. <laughs> there are many, 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 many easier ways of making money. But farming is also extremely fulfilling. So when we look out at a field like this behind me, oh, this is how I want to spend my Saturday afternoon, walking around here scouting and being able to share with you here on the channel. The channel is a place where we share the good, the bad, the happy and sad about farming here in Southern Africa. A lot of focus on vegetables. And during this season, we focus on what we grow mostly at this time of year, which is their um, cereals and the field crops like this one, as well as um, soya beans, which we're growing at the other farm, Winterthorn, which you are more used to seeing. So if you like the video, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up by pressing the thumbs up button, which means you like the video uh, down at the bottom there. This is the kind of video that you can share on your WhatsApp groups, your Facebook groups with other people that like this sort of content about African farming, about maize farming, about Zambia and all this and all the other. And also you can subscribe to the channel. So you press the subscribe button and if you press the bell icon, ding, you get notified by YouTube whenever a new video is, um, comes along. During the good old days, 2022 and ever, I used to do a video run about every week to 10 days, but over the last couple of months, it's been hectic. But I am now happy to have done my first video and I shall be coming back into the cycle of things. Wishing you all the best. Shalai Nipo. Bye-bye.